I know Attorney General Barr pretty well. I was taken with how angry he was about this Epstein thing. Uh, it really seemed to me noticeable. Uh, he's got a pretty level, you know, disposition. Um, what about this? I mean, not, you know, what happened in the cell, but what, what do we make of this? Yeah, I don't blame him for yeah. being angry. Here we got the highest, one of the highest profile prisoners. Now you're innocent until proven guilty, of course. So he's at MCC, he's being detained there uh, on no bond. But he, you know, you would think just basic, you know, issue recognition on the part of, of the people at MCC that this is a, this is someone we need to keep an eye on. Had that earlier incident. We, just, we still don't know what happened there. And I, I just don't blame him. I am very, uh, I'm happy to see that he is aggressively looking into this because I think at bare minimum, you've got gross negligence. We're in the midst of the greatest political scandal in American history. If you just take a look at the discrete threads here. Yet what we have in terms of the greatest political scandal in American history is looking at, Byron mentioned Brennan, um, maybe a Clapper and a Comey. Yes, they're very high level, but uh, just ostensibly or conspicuously absent from the discussion is even higher levels of individuals. President Obama, because it's hard for a lot of people to believe that even the FBI director or director of the CIA or DNI, any of these individuals could have embarked on this train of action on their own without approval from the top. Where does this cultural divide go? Is it settled by an election, no matter who wins, or does it, or does it deepen? Does it, get, does it get broader? And what are the things to do to um, make it better? Uh, you know, you, you point out the example of, could we, could we appoint a member of a commission who would be hailed by all sides? Think of the, who that person is very hard to. Well, well what's to be done? I mean, is this, is this a job for the president of the United States, Trump in the second term? or the next president, what, is the schools? How do we do this? That, you are the greatest educator in America. That's where the problem is, is on campuses, because you could win elections in one direction or in another. The Obama direction took us eight years and then potentially now eight, eight years of Trump. But campuses are producing the newsroom, the war room, the justice room. So a reform in education is what I think the most important matter to do to you're settle these You're looking to the campuses for the unification of the country? What well, Shakespeare says, don't trouble the poor with begging. I mean, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty rough and, div and divisive. Should be, the university should be the marketplace of ideas, uh, but it hardly is in a lot of places.